Hello, George Peabody. Hope you had a great Passover and Easter weekend. Today's virtual class game time question is going to be, what was your favorite treat or meal that you ate this weekend? Please leave a comment down below. My favorite meal that I prepared uh, is my mom's recipe. It's a pozole, which is a Mexican soup. Uh, she makes great pozole and uh, I was missing her and I definitely wanted something that reminded her, me of her uh, and that was to ask for the recipe and I made it and it turned out really good and uh, I'm glad I did it. All right, we're gonna go into our fitness cups. So let me go ahead and take them out. They are gonna be a bit repetitive now that this is our third or fourth time, but we're gonna start off with seven high knees. Do it with me now. Right. Next one is 10 second planks. Favorites. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. Last one is going to be. Six squats, six squats. Ready, make sure you're bending your legs. One, two, three, four. Last one, five. I mean, this is the last one, six. Sorry about that. Forgot I said six squats. All right, can't wait to share with you our next activity. That next activity is going to be bowling, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Very All simple. right, for bowling, what you're going to be needing is a ball, uh, preferably this size, uh, and uh, some plastic cups. The second thing you'll be needing is a score sheet, and this is how it is right here. You can go ahead and give it a pause uh, and draw it up. Very simple. I used a ruler and a marker. Next thing we gotta do is find a lane. Uh, many bowling alleys have lanes, uh, and so what better lane to have than a hallway? If you don't have a hallway, you can make your own lane by kind of bearing off two sides with pillows or backpacks or stuffies, anything you want to have a kind of blockway to make a lane. Got it? When you find your lane, you're also going to mark up the point where you're going to be starting to bowl. So just like an actual bowling alley, there's a line where your feet can't cross, making it harder to uh, get yourself set up. So don't forget to mark that spot. I use tape, but you can use either a kind of a marker like a wall or uh, a string. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up your pins, but in this case, our cups. And how that is gonna look is that there's gonna be starting off with one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna do them in rows. I put spaces in between them, as you can see, or you can kiss them up really close like that and have them all close together. Whatever you want, uh, you can do. It's up to you. All right, let's try out our bowling alley. Our lane is set up, our pins are set up, and I'm going to bowl. Oh, looks like I got a hit. Let me go tally that. Okay. As you can see, I knocked down four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go ahead and write that down in my first box. There we go. Then I'm gonna remove the four. Put them off to the side, and we're ready for my second try. Oh, I only got one there. Let's go ahead and put one. I'm gonna tally those up, four and one, which gives me 
another five. Not looking good for Coach Dan, but I'm sure you're doing great. Okay, did all five sets, a little harder than I thought. Uh, I had put all my top totals up and then I added it at the end and I got 15. So go ahead, try your game and see if you can beat me. Hope you guys enjoyed that virtual class game time of bowling and whoosh clap to everyone who participated. Whoosh.